currently weaving a double face band and the draft for this is going to be up on my blog in the next week or so. At the moment I have just finished this section at the beginning of the motif and now I want to weave this section. So I look at where the threads are in the tablets. I've got two gold ones here and two white ones here. Now if I turn this tablet forwards I'll have gold appearing on the top of the band and white on the bottom. If I turn it backwards I'll get white on the top of the band and gold on the bottom. If I turn this over we have a almost like a photo negative effect where there's white on the top there's gold on the bottom and vice versa. So I want the band of gold to come almost all the way across so I'll select three tablets on this side to turn backwards so that I get this white bit here. Okay, so these tablets turn backwards, the rest turn forwards, and I'll just pass the weft across. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I will beat first, and then I'll pass the weft across. And I'm leaving a little loop there just because it makes it easier to tighten it up. There we go and I'll pass the weft through. I would normally wind my weft onto my shuttle but this is quite a short band so I decided not to bother. Then the second pick and reform the pack ready to select again. Then I'll clear the shed with my finger, pass the shuttle through, give it a really hard beat, pull on the weft so the weft loop disappears into the band, then pass the weft through. Okay, so we've now done this bit here. Next I want to do this row. So again I look at the position of the threads in the tablets. I want most of this to be white and then three gold tablets and then three white tablets. So looking at the positions I have white here so if I turn this tablet forwards I'll get white on the surface of the top surface and if I turn it backwards I'll get gold on the top surface. Now looking here I want most of them to be white I need three white tablets here and then three gold tablets. I'll put those into the backwards pack and turn the tablets as usual. And if I show you, these backwards tablets have gold at the top, these forward tablets have white at the top. Then clear the shed with my fingers carefully. So I don't want uh, a shed that isn't clear to cause stray threads appearing where they shouldn't be. And then pull the weft in. Pass my spool of thread through. Turn. And turn. Then reform the pack. Sometimes if I'm having trouble getting a clear shed, maybe some of the threads are a bit looser, I'll move the tablets a centimetre or so backwards and forwards. And then find the shed again. Let's give that another go. Not quite clear enough. There we go. Just check. Yeah, there we go. And then beat again. Pull the weft and pass the weft through. Okay, so I've now completed this bit. Now if I want to go onto this bit, I need three white, nine gold, three white, three gold, and three white. So once again, I will examine where the threads are in the tablets. 
So which one needs to go forwards, which one needs to go backwards to give me that effect that I'm looking for. And I will continue doing this as I go through all of the pattern repeats of this band. So I hope this has been helpful and maybe gives you a little bit of a push to try double face, uh, particularly double face without a written draft. So thank you for watching and goodbye.